animals. Now, I've done this YouTube channel before, but I kind of got rid of all the videos. There is still one that I might re upload if you guys like it. It's basically me unboxing this bib here with my little Millie in it. I'm just going to get her out. She is a normal little python by the most docile animals ever, which you can probably lock in, but if you've got anything in her mouth, you can't lie to it. And that's the so basically I unboxed her bib and I found out two months ago when I first got her and uh, ever since two months ago my collection of snakes which I have to breed all soon for her it's going to be three years and ever since then I got one month later so a month ago got a new snake and then a month later I got an Everglades rat snake from uh, is it a local pet shop? It's a florist and they sell fish, hamsters, everything out there. Normally corn snakes, but this guy was dropped off there. It was a little Everglades rat snake and I fell in love with him. Especially his yellow belly that he's got there. Beautiful. And one named of Hector. Well, Hector by water. I think they're quite every character because they didn't know what's going to call it. And then, yeah. So what I'm looking to do is continue my role get the snake every month. Only for the end of this month. Probably. Probably, yeah. Still waiting for him to shed, even though I haven't done. It's in the shed. Very, very good. When I first got him, he had been having like four months and he's very nippy. Like, he would think everything's good. Still does a bit because I feed him in his bib still. I like Millie, who I don't. Um, I'm trying to get him to feed out of his but he likes to refuse food. But still, I managed in a month to tame him. I can't swear I can do this. I can tame people. Yep. My little bloody him. Still prefer Millie because I got her first. Yeah. But you know, it's always a thing. You only like the first is your favourite. It's normal. You're attached to them a bit more. Anyway, uh, this was used. It was used once. Because they realised it was super salt, it was false to them, but kept at home. So I get a lot of fish from because my lock on doesn't do reptiles. Uh, wrong thing to say to them because they wanted it can't hold a baby, but uh, they wanted the long lasting. It was quite stressful. Yeah, that bit. Yeah, it is an exoterra, but kept at home. I think I'm not sure if they ever deal with exoterra or something, but basically. It's normally very okay, they sell it with much their stuff, but the next one's terrible. They do have their own original stuff, I'm getting Hector in as his permanent home. So it's only four foot, so he gets around five, six foot. But I need to sex both of my snakes officially. Right, that's what I'm doing for today. So the mesh. We have a nice polystyrene background. I only made out of polystyrene, but it's nice, it is. I've got a bit of bedding in here, but that is the least of my worries. Bedding is the easiest thing in the world to buy. Got a little hide here. Probably not going to change. Definitely going to get a new hide. Definitely about that. Uh, something I can guarantee. So this, this, this is not staying. This is not staying. Yeah, I might put it. One again, I'm getting a big bull python, not a normal like her, I can't tell you what it is because that's going to be a surprise, it's a massive breeding project. There is a snake that I'm eyeing but I might not get it if I really want to because it can help the breeding project. But if not, I've got a thing I'd will also be a good breeder. I can actually benefit through this project, just because we different results for the end. Uh, yeah. The snake I am aiming to get is one of the rarest snakes in the UK, not the world, but the UK. Uh, there's like 10 of them in the UK. Uh, the woman who bred them, she's got three of them. I'm selling this one. Yeah, I'll show you. I guess I can lift it up. Comes with a heat match, I'll show you in a second. No. Nah. I can't get it out, it's just a bit too heavy for me. I've got my 13 year old hands. So it's got 
the opening lids here. It's got the top lid here, which I will, won't use. But I'll keep that and I heat the lamp. Some snakes for a bit. And now I'm looking to bring them, but I'm definitely going to get a fish bag, I've got a dog. And yeah. This, so another thing I'm going to do is called the Pet Podcast. First episode will be uploaded. I haven't filmed, I haven't filmed, but ordered it yet. But should be out soon. I'm gonna call it tonight. So yeah, I think I got bargain. I got this for sixty quid. Uh, it's like a hundred, I think, in pets at home. I'll put a screenshot of its price now. Yep. Also, link in the description. But check out my Patreon. That will be all of the thanks. So, from the money I get with Patreon, there are rewards, and it helps me get more animal stuff so I can progress and be a more entertaining podcast. Show off my snake. Yeah, it's Millie. Millie is, two, Millie is a two foot normal ball python. Got her from work all by myself. It's my fish. I need to clean out their tank, so I think I'm going to need to do that because you know, I've got a rainbow shark, four Pakistan loaches. Five guppies, four lemon tetras, one wood trip, and one of us feels sick, sickly. Look at and two plecos. It's four sick birds on its own because its uh, partner and friends died. Uh, this is Hector's Viv. When I bought him from the pet store, literally his owners had dumped him in a little breathing box. Well, I hadn't dumped him, but they'd gone to him and said, We don't want this anymore. So the woman got out a leopard, an old leopard gecko. Cabinet thing for him and just used it as temporary stock. He was there for two months, so I saw him. Uh, went on the bus, came back later, bought him, bought a cabinet swag because I didn't have one for him. Slapped him here. He hides all the time, likes to burrow himself instead of using his hides, or he hides behind these leaves. Which are, uh, I got him this, but he came with the leaves. Oh, there he is, probably around here. The cool thing about rat snakes is their defense mechanism. It's not exactly like, oh, there it is. It's not exactly like, oh, I'm gonna bite you and get you. But they imitate rattlesnakes and rattle their tail. So there's his tail. So it's just, let's see if it's going to do it. Whoa! 
Oh, sorry guys, I enjoyed the thing, but basically I did it in his head like that. Because he thinks it's feeding time. So, yeah. What I'm gonna do is at the end of this video, get the videos so and watch next week. I'm gonna sort of take the time off. There it is, buddy. There it is, really. Okay guys, welcome back to XML. I just want to show you I've got a new setup now. I completely did this all yesterday by myself actually. Now I've got Millie's Viv here. I'm gonna get my hand out the shot so it's gonna go on that Millie's Viv. Just hang here. It's Viv there. there. Picked this in my bedroom. I got that new Viv. I wasn't sure what to put in it. So I was getting a surprise ball python. Well that ball python is now off the list. You see, I was going to get him, but my mum didn't see the point of spending 450 quid on a snake. So, what am I doing with this small viv? for A, to play some reptiles with Emsworth reptiles. We have a female Everglades rat snake of five butter. Over two years, and I thought, I'm getting her. She's only 35 quid. Her viv is 300, though. My viv set up and everything is all 300 it's 400 quid still but never mind and yeah so she'll be going in her own four foot fifth just going to go there one of the reasons why i moved my desk from there to here so she's going to go there in a massive four foot fifth and breed them either as soon as I get them because it's the end of their breeding season. So I might try and slip in breeding or wait. But we'll see. But I've still got that viv to deal with. Now it's four things. Two things are One of them is a baby Mexican black king snake. They start small, and they stay small for a while. And I've already got one lined up. All I've got to do is say. I want it, and then I will see it. Also, what I'm thinking is getting some garter snakes. Some, because I could garter snakes live together, live in holes about this big. So it was a hole this big, fly now instead of height. You'd have about twenty. That's how they live in the wild. So in this forty-five, it's just a bit smaller than this. It's literally five centimeters smaller than this. So lose that in that. I'm not sure whether that's enough. Keep two or three garters in, but the other one would be three egg eating snakes. They stay small, but they can live in colonies, breeding colonies, which is what I'd keep them in. Lovely, nice to breed, easy to feed. Bada bing, bada boom. Was I planning on putting anything else in there? I don't think I was. I think that was my only options. Well, I did have a fourth in there. I mean, I can put like Leopard geckos, scorpions, spiders, or anything, but I'm not sure. But I want to show you something like some Millie. On Thursday, I fed Millie in front of my friend, so it's off, show her off, show her off feeding. She had small mouth. And on Sunday, she had a small, no, then on Saturday, she had a small mouse. Then on Sunday, she had a small mouse, that's three mice. But then there was also a large mouse, which Hector ended up not eating. So I wanted to see if she wanted it. She she didn't want it. So instead of leaving the mouse in her, uh, her box, her shoe box that I feed her in, so she doesn't have a feeding instinct, because I left it for there for a bit, she didn't want it, so I went, I'll just leave it in her cage. Because I've done that before with a small mouse, which she ended up not eating. I just left it in her cage and she ate it. She ate this. But beforehand, like two weeks no, not two, it was like a month beforehand. No, no, a month either. Probably like three weeks beforehand. I fed her a large mouse in her vid because I was, right, I didn't eat it. And she was in shed, it was in her viv. I was so unconfident she was going to eat, but she ended up taking her viv. That's three meals she's had in her viv. She's had about six outside, so I was scared she's going to get feeding instincts. But then yesterday, she was a bit feisty. So I went on me because she's just eating a large meal. Today, she's still feisty. She's been striking. Here we go. Look at her. She's a bit feisty. I can't get near her without her getting a bit mad. 
So I think she's going to be how she was. She was on that bit of wood. And she's literally striking at me. I can't go for because her head is just right there. Perfect trying to strike it a bit. Trying to lose it. Realise I'm not through. I don't like how she's edging out, so I'm removing my hand. But it's just a bit mad, you know. Still a gorgeous snake. She's getting a bit mad. It might be because of the food soak. It's only been two days. I haven't fully discreeted it yet. I haven't pooed. Who knows? But yeah, I'm trying to go in from behind. That is how I pick her up from behind. That is how you do it. Look at her there. She wasn't as well, like she was proper S shaped earlier. Proper S shaped. Yeah, those are my options. Garters, King Snake, or Aethers. I'm also debating about getting another bit and putting a green tree python in it. Just the only problem with green trees is they're hard to handle, and I like to handle my snakes. So see if that gets rid of her feeding response. You tap them on the head, it apparently gets rid of their feeding response. Now I'm striking her on the head. I'm just gonna put her on my knee. Cause she's my little girl. Yes, you are. Hello, girl. Say hi, guys. I love green tree pythons. They're my second favorite steak. First favorite, green mamba. Why? They're green. They're venomous. They're awesome. So, yeah. And anyway, so um, green tree. Just the only thing I'm debating is a finding a viv that contains so much humidity that I can stay. That's not that high. So I can exoterra. Or zoom meds. I think they're the ones I'd be looking at to get them. But with them, I don't. You can't really get removable perches. If you want to handle them, you want a removable perch. They're gonna take them off and work with them outside. That's the only thing I'm looking for is a removable perch in one of these really good vivs. Which I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to find. So that's the only thing with the green tree pythons. But I'd love a green tree python quite soon. There's a place. Maybe I've got many fish on the bottom. The there, but they are for body fish. Five year old. I'm not gonna do that. They have a five year old male biat green tree python. That's what I'd be after. He's been, he's been there a long, over a year. Potentially the whole five years. I don't know. I think so. Because from like virtual tour from 2015. It's three years ago, he was in it, like he was on that virtual tour, you could see a green tree python, so I don't know how long he's been there, so he's been there a long time, that's a long time by being fed in a, I mean you have to kind of feed green trees in a cage, because that's just how they are. So, I guess you'd have to handle this, I'm, I'm not sure I have to ask, so there's obviously a lot of people who have green trees, so just ask them how they work with them. Yeah, it's just how it works anyway. He, he hasn't been handled for at least three, four years. And so he's just not on my books. I might get him for breeding purposes, just not. But what I want to get is a little five month year old female green tree python. They're red or yellow and they just change into green, which I find magnificent. And their baby, so they can get used to being handled. I would have to work out feelings. It's weird how like they don't have a feeding response. You feed them in their cave, and then you can just take them out of their perches. Mainly because it's in day, and they're just so chill animals. Unless they're not chill, because you can get some nasty green trees. So yeah, it's a good thing with green trees. I find <laughs> I'd love a green tree. And they said, "Why do you have females? Because they have to be free." So you know, work it up. And if that male is still that I'd probably get him to breed with but yeah well you know guys check out the X animal site below um <laughs> but then I mean if I do manage to breed them quickly there could be some Everglade rat snakes up there I mean I never really thought I'd get I didn't know they existed but I'm gonna lie I'm not gonna lie I then think I'd get one I mean if I found out about one I might have got one like eventually but as only as a breeder, I didn't think I'd get one as a pet. Especially being my I expect my second snake to be a male piebald ball python. That is what I expect. I could still get that. I could. I could get a caramel pied. I don't want a caramel, I want a normal. 
Hmm. This is how I expected my snake journey to go. I expected my snake journey to get rats, go in my playhouse and breed them. It's just, it hasn't gone that way, has it? It's gone a completely different part of my brother. He's a carpenter and he might be able to make a, uh, a vivarium bed. It's something I saw on Facebook. And uh, they sell vivarium beds. It's just like, well, this one person had one. They don't anymore. Look at her. She is about to poo. Like, quite soon. So I might put her back in a bit. Mm. Yeah, they had a vivarium bed for sale. It was like a vivarium underneath the bed. And that's my brother. went, yo, could you make this possible? I went, yeah. I'm not sure I'm going to have the time, but it's definitely a thing I could do. More. I'm like that six foot by five foot cage for a snake. They're going to love that. What do I put in it? Do I put in Hector? Seeing as he's not getting his upgraded cage because that's now going to his lady. What I want to put in it is either a red tail. But my first snake was ever going to get. Well, it's going to be else. It's not going to be. Really? I never planned. That's not what I originally wanted. No. No, 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 no. Are you going to go back? There you go. Go, go. My original plan was to get a red tail bow. Why? Because I saw it. And I had a white now and yet some red tail bows. I them. They're a gorgeous, gorgeous thing. I was so close to getting one. But then when we went to get a cage, Confirm my sister's car, and this woman just didn't recommend it, even though I learned so much about them and how to work with them. And I found one, and we were so close to buying it. And just they recommended a ball python, and my mum didn't want a big snake, so they showed us a ball python. I went, Yeah, sure. And it was Millie, and just oh, and now can imagine life without a little snake. To be fair, the red tail bow is only two foot, but now she's probably like four foot. So what I put in there, I put in a little baby, true guy on a red tail bow. Or that one, depending on what I can find. Because they just look amazing, their head, their red tail. Or what would I put in there? I put in a retic. Obviously. Big snakes, red tail birds get 10 to 13 feet because of course I want a female because they're the ones who breed and they're the ones who take longer so everyone gets females in the industry and yada yada yada. That is what I would get. But retics are just something bigger because they're the longest snake in the world. I ain't mad. Or, or, or a green anaconda. I know what you're thinking. What? A green anaconda. A green anaconda. Mm-hmm. They're the heaviest snake in the world. They are hard to find. But uh Kevin, I think it is. It's Kevin at Nerd Reptiles in America. He breeds them. He's having some coming soon. How would I get them? He's in America. I'm in England. How would I get them? And he doesn't nationally deliver at Converse no. So what I was going to do, because I was planning on getting a carry tick off of him, because it's on but then I realised they're hello expensive, so I could just break my own. So I thought, I could do the same thing. What we were going to do, my dad was planning on going to some reptile shows, in the ham one, in the ham or ham Hooten, the one in Germany, the popular one in Germany, <laughs> I was planning on going to do, and he was too. I was like, would you trade it there? I buy it, you take it, and I get it from there. It was like, yeah, it's possible. So, you know, which one do I do? I'm going to be talking about this and a lot more in my podcast, which is going to, I don't know when it's going to come out, but it's going to come out probably a few days after this vlog. It's on my podcast. If you listen in, it's not live, obviously. If you listen in, I'm going to have a worldie, I'm going to talk, talk about a lot of stuff, talk about the future of this channel, and yeah. So I'm not sure if I'm going to see you guys in a minute, or what. Let's see what happens. Alright guys, so, I was playing with Hector, as you don't know, Hector was my second snack, I got him from my, not really a pet store. So, uh, Anyway, um, they have a snake, maybe. Well, they have fish and hamsters. Stumped it. I'm going on my hook and my nephew broke it. 
bit of it so I'll, I'll clean properly because I'm, I'm going to swatch about but anyway um and I was there and I saw a snake I was like woo that's pretty and she told me I was a bit mad but I thought I was calming down I was calming down anyway playing with him boy heck he's currently down there he's playing with him I was telling my chair and he went there I got him off and I was playing with him but he'd gone down and when I picked him up he put his tail through the wheel of my chair and I was like in between it and now he's mad that he just struck what's it oh, probably struck the camera it's gonna go for my hand I don't know where the mic is so, boy you got the camera look at that don't get too close to him I hope I'm not covering up the mic look at him though he has a gorgeous snake so I'm in a situation. <laughs> Just look at that tail. You can probably see that he's got yellow on his belly. Oh, he got the camera again. He probably don't like me in that place. They don't get away from me. But we need to we need to fix this tail situation and see if it's gonna focus. Gonna focus. So I'm gonna try and get him with his dress. I want to throw my gloves because I've got gloves for him. If I touch his tail. He retreats, he retreats, crap. Uh, I need to take a shower. What a situation here, buddy, aren't we? I'm not a threat. What he is. Fish out the tail. My tail is all with I don't want him to go too fast. It's Damn it. Wait. He got scared. And he released a stench that <coughs> quite a few snakes. And like rat snakes, I think bull snakes do it. I'm not sure if fucking snakes do it. But definitely no. <coughs> Snakes do it. <coughs> Sorry, I can't be in that area. <sighs> I need to open a window. <sighs> They're out of the tail, but they also release a stench that just makes predators go. And I've never been skunk, <laughs> but I'm prepared. <laughs> skunk, but. It is actually vile. If you could smell, just after the shower, but uh, down my plate. Then I'm gonna go and record the pet podcast episode one. It's gonna be weekly. I don't know. I could make it like every Friday, every Saturday, every Sunday, every Monday. <laughs> you get the idea. Can't be bothered. Will I be bothered? I don't know. Anyway. See you anyway. Anyway, before I get a bit of YouTube while I dry it up, I uh, where's my kind of I looked on Hector. He was still there, so I went, alright, don't have time. He's gone, so my suspicion is he's gone back here. My suspicion is correct. Now that's a bit of a problem, we have a massive problem, because I can't move this. These drawers I can't move. The best I can move is my desk. <sighs> so we have a problem. I don't want to just let let him come on that trip. Where is he? Is it and I don't even think I'd be able to get to him. Oh my oh my where is he? How am I gonna get to it? Oh, it's very far. I'm not sure. That is quite far. I'm gonna have to move my desk, aren't I? 
not gonna have a bit of a snack. Cause if it comes out naturally first, chances are it's probably not. So <laughs> gonna have a bit of food. Try and get out my snake because I don't have my hook. And that was it. Be simple. It'd be simple to get him. If I had my hook. Literally, <laughs> I just open it a small bit, grab my hook, hook him back. But I don't have my hook. Oh god. <sighs> Let's go. I'm just gonna eat. Oh, so I've had enough food. Uh, let me show you the current situation. Where's my, uh, where's my torch? So I can uh, show you. Here it is. Right. There we have a wild Everglades rat snake. That's as you guys can see. But he is red on your screen. So my torch is bringing out red eyes. Now with my hook, I could easily, easily reach out and grab him. My hook is not something I possess. So I need to think of new ways. He was on my Xbox Power thing. So I started to tug at that, realising it was plugged in, so it wasn't going to move up. So when I unplugged it, he had already moved by then. He is on something, not sure what it is. But there is a cable that is near him. I can eat. Sorry about that. Close up. There was a pound. There was a line near him that can be easily moved. I just dang it. Which I have my hook. And I have a grabber in my playhouse, like this claw. I can't grab it. Otherwise, my mum would be suspicious. And she can't find out about this. I'm gonna see how far my hand can go. And I'm gonna have to suck. That, that's that is length, that, that's that my hand's up. Content! God damn it. My hand gets nowhere. Let's try and move this to the sun. It's gonna be hard. So I have three heavy things on top of it. Two I can't move. One barely gonna affect the weight. I could move the doors, but was... <sighs> Look, I've got him by the tip of his tail. He's trying to go back in again. What are we gonna do? See him underneath this wire. Literally, I grab him. Oh, he's gonna get poisoned. He stinks. Alright, let's go. Let's get him back in. He's gonna be mad. He's gonna be mad. We have a mad snake. Wait a second, guys. I can't do this. I'm mad. I need a hand to open. Oh. Right, he didn't bite me, so I do need to wash my hands. Oh. I literally, he put his, like he was doing that with his mouth next to my hand, but he didn't bite me, did he? Is that blood? Is that? No. <coughs> Wait a second, guys. Legitness, it just looks like I've come to my hand. It really does. Because I've got water on my hand, I can't use my camera. Wait a second. 